YouTube, what's going on? Do Heat back at you with a brand new video. Whoa, I want to show you guys a really quick look at my Jordan 1 collection today. All my Jordan 1 highs that I have currently with me. Before I get into it, I want to ask you guys a quick question. Where do you currently buy and sell your shoes? If you guys been rocking with me for the past five or six years or however long I've done this channel, I always told you guys I buy locally. I buy off Instagram. I would buy off certain uh, trusted sellers. I would buy locally on Kijiji or Craigslist. I would buy off eBay. And we all know StockX has taken the strong hold the choke hold on the game right now it's basically the trusted source in terms of selling and buying but sometimes at least for us Canadians it's been a little bit tough to pay that extra fee it's been tough for me at least I've sold a couple things on there I've bought a couple things on there but for the most part it's been tough for me to justify the fees reason why I'm mentioning this because you guys probably already heard this before in other videos or other people are talking about it but there is buzz already I want to tell you guys right away that stock X is coming to Canada now that means a couple different things. One, we can buy our shoes from there at a much lower cost. Anytime we were buying shoes previously, they'd be coming from the States, you're gonna hit with fees, import fees, additional duties, and by the time you add all those things up, it's almost unjustifiable to go ahead and make that purchase. Now, because we are staying internal within the country, those fees are dramatically reduced for buyers and for sellers, and we're gonna be getting shoes a lot faster in terms of being shipped to your house and shipped out. Fact of the matter is, there is a lot of places in which you can buy and sell your shoes. For me personally, as soon as they said those fees are going to be dramatically reduced, I'm going to start buying some of my stuff on there. I know it's trusted. I know it's legit. They're doing checks and they're sending them direct to my door. For me, that is a great opportunity, but I want you guys to let me know and sound off down below. I'm also curious to know your thoughts. All right, let's just get into the video right now. I got three shoes right here that I'm going to show. Two of these I've doubled up on. Um, so these are going to be the dead sock pairs and I'll show you the actual pairs that I wear up there. Let's start with the first one. You've seen the video, I'm sure, multiple times, but the Jordan 1 off-white Chicago I purchased for retail still have yet to wear it still have yet to wear it and it's funny <laughs> we talk about StockX a lot and you've seen the prices go out of control crazy on this shoe so for me personally when I look at the price I'm like can I justify myself wearing this shoe right now if this shoe's going for 5k you know what I mean it's tough to justify let me know down below would you guys if you had this pair in your hand dead stock would you wear it would you hold it would you sell it it's 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 now the nature of the game these days you have to ask these questions Jordan 1 Chicago off-white all right next shoe is another one that super sought after. Not as crazy as Chicago, but to me, really, really nice because I love the baby blue. You guys love the UNC blue. This is a pair I was able to get two pairs of. So a one, wear, one pair I wear currently, this is the dead stock pair, the UNC off-white Chicago. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. Still has that brand new shoe smell. Gotta keep the receipts. I'll show you guys the pair that I wear. I just wear them with the white laces. Let me just set these aside. I wear them with the white laces personally, but I am thinking of switching it up and throwing a different lace on. I don't know, it's such a gorgeous shoe. I gotta find myself wearing this a bit more. UNC Off-White Chicago clean shoe. Next up, this is a pair I was able to double up on. Super lucky to do that. I actually bought them first time at retail and the second time I bought them at resale, but this is before they jumped up so dramatic right so I think I bought these for yeah under 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 1g and this is like the first couple days when they came out and everyone was getting rid of them everyone was selling them at crazy prices and then they just they just popped up out of control you cannot get these for less than at least in my size locally these are going for about 15 to 2k especially dead stock you can find other prices um, obviously if they've been worn a couple times but yeah I mean that's my dead stock pair I've worn this pair so many so many times lots of creases on the toe box overall clean pair but also very happy to have one dead stock that I could just hang on to beat the other one up maybe I trade this maybe I sell it maybe I you know who knows maybe I just sit on it for a long time the Jordan 1 Travis Scott high all right so we got those three out of the way I want to show you guys we got a couple shoes here I've shown you guys these the Jordan 1 UNC's I showed you guys these Travis Scott's let's get down to some of the other stuff so this is a pair that I've had oh man I guess it's coming up to five years now the Jordan 1 brand and apologies for the lighting I'm shooting this at night but this shoe is incredible check out the foot oh my goodness <laughs> what is going on look hang on we'll zoom on the hair it does and I'm sorry to put a shoe on the bed that's disgusting but uh hey it is what it is so the Jordan 1 band got this in 2016 super clean shoe Next one I want to show you guys is the Royal. This shoe is incredible. Another one I've worn an unbelievable amount of times. It's creased, it's beautiful. 
I love it. I'm gonna switch up my view here. Let me get this Jordan 1 Chicago. One of the few pairs I paid resale on. <laughs> the amount I paid then versus the amount it's worth now. These just shot up in price. Unbelievable. Next up, you gotta complete the OGs with the shadow ones. I don't wear this shoe that much. I'll be honest. I wish I wore it more. This had varying um, different quality of the leather. Look at my leather on the toe box. It's not tumbled at all. And then I saw three or four other pairs of some friends and all their toe boxes were tumbled. And then my swoosh was tumbled and theirs wasn't. So you know what happens? A lot of these shoes are made from various different factories and sometimes the quality control is a little bit different. It's fine with me. It's a beautiful shoe. Jordan 1 Shadow. This one right here, haven't even laced them up yet. The Jordan 1 Royal Toe, extremely clean shoe. You got the blue toe box, the black and white hits. It makes it very, very wearable. And then you just have that little pop of color. I find as I get older, you want to wear a shoe that's a little bit more mature. Or even if you're on the younger side, you go out to dinner, you want to wear sneakers. This is a shoe to me that just, just screams that. I can't wait to lace these up. Just haven't got around to it. Jordan 1 Royal Toe. Next up, I have laced these. I have yet to wear them. The Lakers just won the championship. Uh, it's This is incredible. This is a crazy shoe. This is a shoe that I don't even know if it's shot up in terms of price, but I got these for retail. I have yet to wear them. Some people were stripping the paint, showing the Chicago underneath. I got Chicago's. I don't need to do that. I love this colorway. I'm actually looking to, I haven't seen anyone do this lace lace swap yet. And if you know where to get the laces, let me know. But I want to get these, this color lace. Um, and I, I, yeah, I want to swap out those reds. Right now I have one with the red and the other one with the white um i couldn't decide on what i liked i haven't worn these yet i'm going to wear them i'll never get rid of these super clean shoe jordan one this is the sb jordan one la super clean shoe next up i got a shoe that's super beat up super crease this is a jordan one 3.0 shattered backboard these guys got a lot a lot a lot of hate um when they first dropped and you know people call it the oil slicks or whatever i love this shoe they pop they stand out great shoe jordan one shattered backboard 3.0 next is a shoe that i got for retail that did not really have much resale at first and then just like went out of control people are paying stupid prices for this shoe and what i'm gonna personally do is i'm gonna take these white laces and i'm going to um make them that like cream color i saw someone else do this on instagram they did a really great job so the jordan one turbo green we're gonna add that sail lace um and then it kind of matches the midsole just a clean shoe super nice great summer shoe turbo greens next shoe i wear all my shoes look at that creasing the jordan one pine green 2.0 i didn't get my hands on the 1.0 because at the time when that shoe dropped they dropped alongside the court purples so i ended up getting the court purple 1.0 and i got instead of getting the pine green 1.0 and then the second time around i got the pine green 2.0 and i didn't get the court purples if i could do it over again i would go back and i would have got the 1.0 pine green i like the blocking a lot better than this one with the white panels but overall this is really nice that really nice um uh pebble leather super clean on this shoe i've worn these a ton this is probably my favorite shoe right now in the collection the jordan one pine green 2.0 next up another shoe that seems like it's just shot up in price and i don't really know why this shoe is really nice to me it's just not like it's just not all that i don't know what it is the obsidian jordan one i've worn quite a few times um you know beat them up but again if i had to get rid of a pair of jordan ones i have to do it today these are going to be on the chopping block for me it's a really really clean shoe i just find that like the navy and the light blue and white and then you know you got this kind of like sail it is not clean white it's actually like a sail color um there's a lot going on people love this shoe they think it's easy to wear to me maybe it's because i've seen too many people wear it I, I don't love it that much anymore um but still you know can't hate on it jordan one obsidian all right here's the shoe if you guys know i love the color pink i'm just gonna hang on here i love the color pink i always have and I have other pinks, you know, I don't have everything here, but when these came out, I told myself, I'm gonna get them. I have to get them, they're super clean. When these came out, people people did not like these. These had no resale value. People were kind of selling them for whatever they could get. I hung on to my pair, haven't laced them up now, and again, the prices just go up, they just keep going up. So the Crimson Tints, really nice shoe. I For some reason, when I bought these, they didn't come with the pink laces. You know, sometimes when you buy shoes at retail, and sometimes the laces are in there, sometimes people take them out. I don't know, I think that's what happened in my case. Um, I have the black laces. If you guys, anyone watching this has those pink laces and are willing to sell them, let me know. I want to swap mine out. Crimson tints. Here's a shoe that everyone would call a brick when they first came out. These shoes sat. They sat. And in fact, they went on sale at a couple different Foot Lockers. Um, I pick, picked up only one pair and I actually really regret it. I wish I bought a couple pairs. I've worn this once. This is like kind of like that sail texture. People didn't like how the, the midsole had this weird kind of crinkle effect. I didn't mind it. Um, it's a super basic, simple shoe, but looks 
really, really clean. At least in my opinion, I wear a lot of black, so to have this kind of pop, um, it's just, I, I really like the shoe. I think it's a super, super slept on shoe. Probably the most slept on in my entire collection, the Phantom. Jordan one and then last but not least talk about another shoe that just sat and then uh, went crazy I had this when they were the new love old love pack back in 2007 It's one of my first pairs of Jordan ones ever and, and then uh, these came back again in 2017 I want to say and I bought these for $102 they were on sale you could find these at pretty much every Foot Locker and I think now they're like 400 bucks. So if anyone had hindsight back then, you would have just picked up like 100 pairs of these and sat on them for a couple years. This shoe creases like crazy, but in terms of the colorway, I don't care that it's a mid, it's one of my only mids in my collection, but it just goes crazy. This was like a all black outfit, like black pants, black hoodie. This shoe pops. I've got multiple, multiple um, comments on this shoe, more so than like Travis Scott's or Off-Whites, like you know, people see those and they don't really know what they are. These ones I got like random old people coming up to me like, wow, those look really cool. So Jordan 1, mid, new love, super, super nice shoe. All right, you guys, that is it for now. The Jordan 1 High Collection. How many pairs is that? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 pairs. This is not all the pairs. I have a lot of pairs there either like kind of tucked away in storage or whatever. The biohacks, I know I have satin black toes. I got shattered back poured uh, satins. I, kind of, I, I don't even know what else I have. It's just kind of all tucked away. Stuff that I'm not wearing, that I'm just sitting on. And then this is stuff that I do wear. I wear pretty much all of it. The stuff that I haven't worn yet, I'm going to get to wearing ASAP, especially since winter is coming. Make sure you wear your shoes. Comment down below if you like the video. I'm going to do heat. I'm going to come out with something soon. Hope you guys are doing well. Peace.